Hello YouTube, welcome back to another video. Today I am going to be joining five other guys in a weekly update showing our top 50 horror movies from 50 to 1. We're going to do 10 a week. And this was a, an idea by uh, one of my good buddies on here, Manny Raposo. And about a month or so ago he had inboxed me and asked me if I would be interested in doing this project with him. And I thought it would be a great idea and it sounds like a lot of fun so I threw my hat in the ring and there are some other great YouTubers that are participating. There's um, Manny Raposo of course, he's the one that came up with the idea and I see that he already uploaded his first 10, looking forward to watching that. And the next guy is a, a good friend of mine on here, really good guy, goes by the name of Lylesburg 711, Lylesburg 711 however you want to say it. And then another good buddy of mine on here who is a parsnip burger, Matthew. Looking forward to watching your guys' videos. I see that all three of you have already uploaded a video. And the other two guys are Given Up 96, who is my good buddy Jordan, and Andrew Balina, who is another good guy, great YouTuber, has an awesome horror collection. So I'm really looking forward to everybody's videos. And um, as soon as I'm done uploading this one, I'm going to go check your guys' videos out, see what you guys have for your. 50 through 41 and my first one at number 50 is going to be terror train and I just want to put out a little disclaimer here and say that at any given time my top 50 can change my top five will probably remain the same for the most part but six through 50 can can vary at any given time so this is the top 50 that I have for today and uh like I said, we'll start with number 50 here at Terror Train, and this is the Scream Factory Blu-ray DVD combo pack. And this is a really cool um, 80s slasher, kind of a uh, drive-in classic. And it's kind of a whodunit, you know, you can see on the cover here that the uh, killer had used different, several different masks. It's leading you to believe that um, it's more than one killer, and you, I'm not going to give it away, you never know. I mean, it could be several killers, it could be one killer using different disguises, but... This one stars the great Scream Queen, Jamie Lee Curtis. And I guess I'll just give you guys a little uh, overview of the uh, the disc here. And then uh, I'm not going to try to spend too much time per title because I do have 10 I'm going to show. And some of them I have uh, multiple editions. So here's the uh, original cover art. And then this is the commissioned. And then it comes with some beautiful uh, disc art here. So that is uh, Terra Train. Blu-ray DVD combo pack. And this is a good film. If you guys have, haven't watched it or have never heard of it, I would strongly recommend grabbing this one. Pick it up, add it to your collection. That is Terror Train, number 50. Number 49 is an HP Lovecraft film. And it's a Stuart Gordon film. And this is uh, From Beyond. Based on the HP Lovecraft story. And directed by Stuart Gordon. And this one stars the great Jeffrey Combs, and um, this is a great film. Look at that's the original cover art there. This is also the Blu-ray DVD combo pack. Comes with this nice slip, and then there you have some nice disc art. It is from Beyond. Number forty-seven is Children of the Corn, and some of you guys might laugh, but I thought the first entry in this series was very good, starring Peter Horton and Linda, Linda Hamilton. And I just have the uh, DVD here. This is the Anchor Bay DVD, the slipcover. Uh, I'm not sure if I ever feel the need to upgrade this one to Blu-ray. If I did, I would probably just get the first one. The sequels were not as good as the first, I thought. But by now, most everybody has seen Children of the Corn. And that is number 47 in my top 50. Number 46 is a film called Slaughterhouse. And here on the left is the 88 Films Blu-ray. Here you can see Buddy on the cover. And then this is the DVD edition from Lucky 13. And I think this company went out of business because this was um, volume one, number one, and I'm not sure they ever had any more 
editions after this one. This is the uh, Cult Collectibles. And there you see the disc art. Kind of a backwoods, um, retarded son go goes crazy after they try to uh, evict his father from the slaughterhouse. He ends up butchering a bunch of people. And uh, it's a good slasher from the 80s, another drive-in classic. And that is Slaughterhouse, and that is number 46 on my list. Number 45, I might get a, I might get some crap for this one, because I'm sure a lot of you guys would put this film a little bit higher on your list, maybe a lot higher, but this is number 45 on my list. This is Alfred Hitchcock's Psycho, special edition DVD. And this is from the Universal Legacy series. There you can see the you can almost see the spine there. It's got kind of a glare on there. And this kind of opens up like a um, like a small hard box almost. I, I like the way that they did this series. I have a couple other ones. I believe I have The Hustler with uh, Paul Newman, but uh, this is just my top 50 horror films today. So this is Psycho number 45. Number 44 is Creepshow. And this is the UK edition. This comes with this nice little slip box here and then some really nice cover art. This is the two disc special edition. George A. Romero's Creep Show. Comes with this little little card here. There's my cake. He finally got his cake. And then here you can see some pretty nice disc art there. Great film. Great anthology film. So that is Creepshow. It's number 44 on my list. Number 43 is An American Werewolf in London. And I do have this also on Blu-ray on a steelbook, uh, steelbook format, but I just pulled out the DVD for today. This is the widescreen DVD edition. There you can see the werewolf. This is a almost kind of a cheesy special effects type film, but it, it was very effective and scared the hell out of me when I was a kid. I remember watching this was one of the first horror movies I watched by myself late at night back on uh, we had HBO when I was a kid sitting up in uh, I remember just gripping the arms of my of the lazy boy chair because I was freaked out man this was a this was a classic film to this to this day you know when I watch it now it's um seems very cheesy but as a kid you know this was one that got me comes with a little um, insert here with some uh, write-ups on the film interview with John Landis, Griffin Dunn. And I still do love this movie to this day. It has sentimental, you know, uh, value to me, but it's uh, it's still a classic film. It holds up today. So that is An American Werewolf in London. Up next is um, a Clive Barker film, Clive Barker story. I should have pulled all these bags off before the video, guys. I apologize about that. This is Rawhead Rex. And, uh, I believe this one is uh, pretty hard to find these days. And this is the Pioneer release, the Artisan release, and um, this is another, it's uh, in the same vein as American Werewolf in London. You know, it's got the, the cheesy rubber monster costume, and it's, uh, I love this kind of film, you know. This is a film from 1986. And, um, yeah, I, I, I do, you know, I enjoy these kind of films, so. Here you get the chapter menu there. And then we have the uh, little poster art, inside card. That is Rawhead Rex. And that is uh, 43. No, 44. What the hell, I lost count already. <laughs> I can't even count 10 DVDs, guys. Okay, up next is, um, yeah, I guess this is number um, 42 right here. And this is The Fog. And don't ask me why I have two DVD editions. I, I initially had this one, 
And then I found this one, I think it was like two bucks. And it, I just like the variant cover art. And then I have the Scream Factory Blu-ray. And um, this is a great ghost story. Uh, some of you may put this one a little bit higher on your lists, but um, yeah, this is number 42 for me. It's another Jamie Lee Curtis film. take a quick look at the fog many of you have this edition I'm sure there's the original poster art and then there's the commissioned and you get some nice disc art there and then finally for today this is number 41 and this is Pet Cemetery. the blu-ray comes with this lenticular cover it doesn't do much as far as uh, movement but you can see that it does have kind of a gives you the, uh, like a depth to the uh, lenticular 3D card. I'm not sure if the phone's picking it up, but you can see some depth there in person. And this is a great Stephen King film. And um, I do have this on DVD somewhere, but uh, I just wanted to show you guys the Blu-ray really quick. So that is my first 10. And I wanted to thank Manny Raposo for inviting me to be part of this with you great YouTubers and um, this is going to be a fun little project here for us and uh, I do look forward to uh, checking everybody's videos out I'm going to go ahead and uh, take a shower I just got home from work a little while ago I wanted to get this video out before it was too late I see that uh, Manny, Chris and um, Matthew already have their videos out so I wanted to make sure I got mine out too and uh if you guys have any comments or questions please leave them below give it a thumbs up if you like the video and sub if you haven't and uh, thanks for watching guys and uh, by the way I will leave a link below for the uh, other five guys that are doing this video this uh, top 50 so please check below in the description give them a sub and uh, thanks for watching guys take care